Okay, everybody, this is Ian. Welcome back. We're now going to be covering uh, how to set up an opt in or email uh, acquisition page on podia.com. This is part of our series uh, for teachers, coaches, authors, anyone who's looking to build a membership style site slash uh, digital online uh, e-commerce platform or uh, store, whatever it is that you can conceptualize selling, you can do via Podia. Uh, and this is, again, one of the primary reasons why we recommend and use Podia over something like Teachable or Kajabi or any of the analogs uh, in this online LMS space. So in this example, again, we're going to be creating a landing page slash newsletter opt-in page for your next product, your course, your service, whatever it is that you're selling, you can pre-launch it or uh, build an email acquisition uh, landing page that allows you to automate follow-ups and uh, you know, uh, test a new product or service before it goes live, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so you're gonna see that here. Okay, let's log in. This is my, uh, the back end of my personal uh, Podi page. I'm going to go away from this here so you don't see all these names. All right, and let's now create a new product and we'll call it a digital download. And I'm going to say a test of an email landing page on Podia. Again, you can do something like this on, um, on, Gum Road. I mean, it's not all, all the various uh, learning management systems that are available online have some degree of compatibility or comparability. Um, so there's not really one that does in an, in an incredible amount more than the others do. In my view, Podia is it's the easiest to use. And it's why, you know, we recommend them and use them actually on our partners.mindfulmarketplace.com page. All right. So they do require that you add a file to a digital download, um, you know, to publish it. So we're going to have to do that here. I'm just going to find any random image from my desktop which is a disaster. My desktop is a avalanche of ugliness. All right, we'll get away from that. Uh, so this is just a picture that we're going to, uh, you know, give people the availability or the, the uh, opportunity to download once they opt in. All right, so let's see. None of this is really all that relevant here. Essentially, this is the salient piece of the process. You want to create a pre-launch page and it's really done. All right. So, I mean, we could dress this up a bit. I ordinarily would. So you have, you know, some images and you have some more, um, you know, aesthetic appeal rather than just what you're going to see here, which is this. But you right now have a functionally uh, working landing page that will collect names, right? It does have a single file, which is the uh, image download that I just dragged from my desktop. And it works, right? So if I were to input my name here and say enrholmgmail.com and sign up, I have now subscribed to this new landing page and you've just did you've just accomplished that in mere seconds most of this video has been me blabbering on about you know this that or the other thing actual part of creating the pre-launch page took no time at all all right so if you wanted to actually edit this we could go to our editor and watch how quickly you can do this as well so if I want to actually a test of an email landing page, we're going to edit this page here. And this is where you would add your, uh, you know, your banner images and dress the page up a bit. So let's do this real quick. I'm just trying to not show how messy my desktop is, <laughs> but who cares, right? We're all friends. So I'm going to drag that same image back. So you're going to see that here. So now we're actually constructing 
the landing page portion uh, or the design of the uh, you know of the of the opt-in page. This is the text that goes underneath. Let's get rid of my face there. You can add a video here if you wanted. You can add a, you can change the color, custom colors. You can do really anything you want. Oh, it's really, really sweet. Let's just make it simple and make that dark. Change the alignment to center. All right, and now you're, you're essentially just aesthetically making this page a little bit more or less appealing depending on your taste. This obviously doesn't look great because that's, you know, this picture is not a really good one. Let's do this actually. So I'm giving you a better sense of some of the stylistic things that you can do here. Let's get away from my plain tech. Let's drag this image here. And then we'll change this to a, and then we'll align this image to the right or left so it's not so big. All right, now you've removed all the colors, and now we're just going to publish this bad boy. And let's look at it. All right, now again, that's still not super fancy. You can do tons and tons and tons of stuff, but that at least looks a little bit better than the one before. And again, this is, I had a new email address, and boom. There you have it. Now I got another email on this list. So if you're testing something on Facebook where you're actually trying to build a community uh, or you're testing, I use this for pre-launch uh, pages. In other words, if I have a product coming, I'll announce it or a course or some offer or service. And I'll basically test the offer to my community by dint of putting up a landing page and then telling folks that this is coming and then seeing what the response is. Oftentimes people don't respond nearly as favorably as you would like. And therefore, you know, at least for the time being, that product service piece of content course, class, program, whatever it may be, is not necessarily something that is uh, worth pursuing. Other times I'll send out a, a notice or an email or an invitation or an announcement and I'll get hundreds of people that will sign up for something like this in advance of a product being created and you then have some market validation that your idea is a good one and that it's worth you know pursuing, right? So if you're on my list, as I know many of you watching this are, or you are part of our Mindful Marketplace uh, community, which many more uh, folks are, you often see this exact process flow in the emails that you'll get from us, right? We'll send out something that'll say, sign up to be notified when XYZ launches in a couple of weeks. And there have been occasions where XYZ has not launched because after a couple of those announcement emails, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of interest. Other times I'll do the same thing. And you know, folks will be so enthusiastic about that particular product or program that you know, we'll double down on that and, and focus more heavily uh, on, you know, scaling out or building out, uh, you know, other even lateral products, programs and offers around that initial uh, offer. All right. So there you have it. It's really easy to do. And you do this on the Podia back end. Uh, so give it a try. All right. My Mac's going to die. I'm going to stop this video. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask below. Thanks.